What's up, YouTube? My name is Parker. I'm standing here at Uncharted Recreation in Meridian, Idaho, and behind me is the 2024 Cruiser RV. This is the MPG line, and the exact model is the 2100 RB. Really awesome, short little couples coach. Uh, has a lot of cool features that set it apart from the competition. So let's get started. Okay guys, I don't wanna bore you with any of the specs here, so I'm gonna go ahead and list those up on the screen for you. Feel free to pause the video as needed if you wanna go ahead and look at those. Uh, but a couple quick things here. Uh, this trailer has a total length of 25 feet, 11 inches, so just under 26 feet uh, overall. This does have a barrel roof design, which allows it to have one of the tallest ceilings in the industry coming in at six feet, 11 inches. Um, really cool floor plan, really open floor plan. But as always, we're gonna start on the outside and we'll work our way inside. Okay guys, so I wanted to start at the front here. Um, just right away you'll notice you've got a dual propane setup. Uh, this is two 20 pound uh, propane tanks here. You do get a power tongue jack, makes disconnecting and connecting up to the trailer extremely quick and easy. Uh, the kids can help, that sort of thing. Um, you won't be able to see it from this shot, but this trailer actually has a really wide A-frame compared to some of its competitors. Uh, the advantage to that is going to be uh, turning radius. It's going to be a lot harder to jackknife this thing uh, when making those really tight turns. Um, you got a really large space up front to mount two, uh, maybe three batteries. Um, I would say probably two on the safe side. Um, then they have this box down here, and I'll show you a little bit closer up here in a second. Um, they call this the vault. That's where all your wiring is housed. You can actually take that panel off, and all the wires are labeled extremely neatly. So anyone that's just kind of getting into RVs, it'll make it 10 times easier dealing with any of that down the road. Uh, looking at the front cap here, this is a fully molded fiberglass front cap with an automotive grade uh, paint job on the front here. It's a three layer paint. Um, it's gonna protect it obviously against the elements and it gives it a really nice glossy shine. Uh, really cool accent lights on the top and bottom. You do get a chip guard down here on the lower third of the cap and uh, just overall really cool design. Okay guys, so here's another look at that front cap here. Looks really cool with those MPG graphics and the LED lights. Coming to the uh, driver's side here, you'll have one of the access panels to your pass-through. Has just over 40 cubic feet of space for storage. Panning around to the side here, notice how deep your slide is. And also notice the mechanism that drives it. This is a rack and pinion slide for those that know uh, what that is, that's one of the most robust slide systems out there. It does cost a little bit more to put these in a trailer, but it's totally worth it for the reliability aspect. And you also gain a taller slide overall, so you don't feel like you have to duck every time you're getting into the slide uh, portion of your trailer. Coming around, notice a lot of tinted windows on this with an 80% tint on all the windows. Um, this is your access panel to your refrigerator inside. This is going to be where most of your connections are here. So you've got your 30 amp, your satellite cable connections there, and your city and freshwater connections, as well as a spray port on this side as well. Coming down, you'll have your dump valve. You do get power stabilizing jacks on this unit. I'll show you more of that when we get to the other side. Nice rear bumper with a full size spare mounted on the back. You do get a camera prep, so really easy to add a backup camera to this if you'd like, and then you do get a ladder prep, which is that over there. Um, there is a specific ladder you can buy from Lippert that just hooks right in there and allows you um, easy roof access. This does have a fully walkable roof. All right, so coming around to this side of the trailer, check out that 18 foot power awning. It's about the full length of the trailer, which is crazy. Nice solid step here. Nice wide door as well. So one thing to note on MPGs, their doors are 30 inches wide. So um, I'm a bigger guy, I'm 270 pounds, six foot one. Getting in and out of this trailer is a breeze compared to some of these other ones that have the narrow doorways. So that's something to note as well. And your steps are also a little bit wider than most other trailers. Here's the button to extend and retract your electronic um, stabilizer jacks here. You do have a little tie down point there as well. 
fully heated and insulated underbelly on this one. It is a dual axle. Comes with these nice uh, wheels or rims or whatever you want to call them. You do have cable and power hookups on the outside here if you wanted to mount an external TV. And then this is going to be the exhaust for your furnace. It is a, uh, let me check my notes, 30,000 BTU furnace. This is for your um, sanitized flush, your potable water only. Um, and then this is your water heater. So it's a six gallon gas electric water heater. This little hole here is where you'll stick a tool if you ever need to manually bring in your slide. Um, and that's basically where you would do that. Coming over here, again, you'll have another button for those electric stabilizing jacks and then your pass through. All these doors are held up with magnets, which makes it a little bit easier to deal with. There's another look at the pass through. You'll have a solar disconnect switch here as well as a TPMS um, system built in for your tire pressure. And then that's your solar controller. It's a 30 amp controller. This unit does have 190 watts of solar that is roof mounted. So that pretty much sums it up for the outside guys. Let's go ahead and uh, head on the inside. Okay guys, I just wanted to demonstrate this real quick. Um, being a bigger guy myself, uh, this feature means a lot to me personally, um, but this 30 inch door is no joke. I know I already mentioned it, but these steps are super solid. When you're done, these steps just flip up inside the unit and lock in place. Um, advantage to that is you don't have your steps hanging off the, the bottom of your trailer to get caught up on something. Um, also, as you're traveling, um, your steps aren't getting dirty in the elements, they're inside the trailer, they're protected. Um, so something to consider, but having such a wide step makes it easy. You do have a nice, good grab handle here as well, but check this out. I mean, I can walk straight in and my shoulders don't touch this because it is that 30 inches wide. Um, again, I think it's an underappreciated feature uh, for us bigger guys out there, but just something to consider. All right, so hopping inside. Right off the bat, you'll be greeted with your control panel here. This will control all your lights, your slide, your awning, your water heater, etc. You'll have a little uh, a gas alarm down there as well. I don't know why I couldn't think of that. And then your propane vent there. Just to the left of the door here, you'll have a really nice sized pantry here with your converter box just below that. That's where all your uh, fuses will be. Look how many shelves you get there. Alrighty. So check out this kitchen, guys. Lots and lots of counter space in such a small compact trailer here. You do get a single compartment stainless steel sink with a cutting board inlay here. Stainless steel fixtures here. Lots of windows, good size overhead storage up top above your sink. You do get a microwave in this unit as well. A little bit more storage on this side. This one does have a three burner stove instead of the standard two that you'll see in most trailers. And then instead of doing a traditional oven, they actually went with this air fryer. So really large air fryer oven that middle rack does come out uh, to increase the capacity um, but it's probably the least used appliance in any trailer so kind of cool that they're mixing it up with this air fryer option lots and lots of counter space like i mentioned and lots of drawers as well and cabinets one thing to note all your cabinetry in this unit is real wood so it's not the fake particle board mdf stuff you see in a lot of other lower end trailers Really good size flat screen TV here with the Furion sound bar here, which has your built in radio, uh, Bluetooth, all that good stuff. Coming to the bedroom, check out this king size bed, guys, and lots of room too to walk around either side. But what's even cooler is they've built this whole bed on a sliding system, so I can go ahead and slide that over 
all the way to the right, all the way to the left, depending on where I want the most room in the trailer. You will have some residential style bar stools. And then I did want to show you, you have storage underneath this bed as well. It goes all the way through. So you can fit quite a bit in there as well. Hanging storage closets on both sides of your bed here. And a good size overhead compartment that goes all the way down. And then a little shelf here as well. And then you've got these little cubbies on each side of your bed here. And there is power on the underside to mount, or excuse me, to charge your devices at night. So that's a look at the bedroom here. You do have this privacy curtain that you can pull all the way across in case you have people staying with you. Here's a look at that flush floor slide and your couch. So this couch does come out into a full-size queen bed. I'll go ahead and throw a picture of what that looks like in here. All right, next to your couch, you'll have this good size little cubby here with USB-A and Type-C port there to charge any of your devices, of course. Good storage next to the fridge. Another one just below. Your fridge is gas electric in this unit. Us people out west, we tend to prefer that for the amount of dry camping we do. On the wall here, this is your Furion um, thermostat control. Let's take a look at the bathroom. Good leg room for the toilet here. Really important for us bigger guys. Get a bathroom um, window in here as well. And then a corner uh, shower. Little vanity, single compartment sink here. Access to the plumbing, a little bit of storage, and then you do get this medicine cabinet. So that pretty much sums it up for the bathroom. Let me know what you guys think of this floor plan. Again, it's small, but because of the layout, it actually feels really open. And again, these ceilings are so tall. If you guys enjoy content like this and would like to see more, feel free to drop a like and um, subscribe. I try to post a video every day um, if I can get around to it. And uh, as always, guys, thanks for watching.